Hi, this is Gilles, the radio prepper, with some uh, channel news today. And uh, I know I haven't been really posting much lately, but yeah, I guess I just run out of ideas sometimes. But I'm still on it. I'm still working on uh, videos. So I would like to thank everyone, all the people who uh, kept uh, supporting the channel, uh, because that's a great help and that really makes a difference. So you have the links down below. Uh, I have things to talk about, uh, uh, including two books, <laughs> one from uh, Julian, OH8STN, and one from myself. But first, I'm going to show you uh, some products that I'm going to be reviewing soon, and uh, they come from uh, Retevis. I'll, do, I'll be quick. Um, one that's very, very interesting is this one, and uh, which has the uh, 6 meter 50 megahertz band. So I'm going to be reviewing this first. I, I forgot the name of it. I, you'll see it in the, in the review, but uh, very interesting to me because of 6 meters. And of course, I love 6 meter FM. I know there is nobody on it, but <laughs> I persist. Uh, I, I I keep calling and uh, ho hopefully I'll make more contacts on it. But uh, this uh, will probably help me. So this will be first for the review. Then I have two products that uh, you are going to choose between for the, the next review. And that's a mobile unit, the uh, MA1. Yeah, M M1A. No, M1A is another thing that I like, but <laughs> this is the MA1. So dual band, uh, I think it does cross band repeater. So that would be awesome. I'll put that in my truck so uh, you'll see the installation. So that's option one. Option two is another radio from Retevis. Actually, it's Alons, but you know, it's the same company. And uh, it's a, a dual band handheld. That's pretty cool. And uh, you have the option of choosing this one for the review. I guess probably more people are going to choose the, uh, the mobile radio. We'll see, but I'll leave you the choice in the comments. All right, so the books. Uh, <laughs> Julian wrote a book, and uh, I'm really proud to show it to you. And this is the uh, Off-Grid Power for Emergency Communications by Julian OH8STN. Awesome book. I looked at it. It's mostly, of course, about power management, and that's uh, Julian's uh, expertise. Uh, it's it's really good. It has a lot of stuff like, uh, you know, battery packs and uh, uh, charge controllers, uh, solar panels, uh, uh, power generation. I mean, you name it. It's it's really good. Lots of illustrations, photos. So it, it's a, a mountain of knowledge. Uh, it's pretty thick. So you have a lot of information there. Uh, I suggest that you uh, you, you find it uh, probably on his site. Uh, I should have looked. Uh, Survival Tech Nord, OH8STN. You'll find it probably on Amazon also. Uh, again, I, I, he sent it to me, so <laughs> I didn't have to look for it. But uh, that's an awesome book, and I'm, I'm going to uh, keep reading it. There's a lot of stuff in there. It's, it's really, really interesting. And, uh, you know, it's important to have uh, copies of uh, uh, information that you have not on a computer, but on paper in a book, because, uh, you know, in case of uh, an EMP or anything like that, or you lose your data, you're not going to be able to, to find that information and use it. So uh, I'm always a proponent of uh, saving information, keeping manuals on paper, because you never know. And this is a, a very good one. Everything about power management. And here is what it says on the back. Uh, of great power for emergency communications show you how to keep your comms and gear running with field tested solar power systems. No theory, no fluff, just what works. The book covers solar panel charge controllers and uh, live PO for batteries, DC power distribution and system wiring, power efficiency, redundancy and field repairs, real world kits and deployment strategies. When the grid goes down, the prepared might not even notice. Get it? I also wrote a book. <laughs> it's not a book about radio, although it, you know, there is a, a telegraph in it, but it's a novel. It's a post-apocalyptic novel, so <laughs> my first. Uh, it's, it's a story that I was just uh, thinking about, you know, and 
finally I thought, well, I might as well just write it down. And I did, and I and I actually finished it, <laughs> which is amazing because I'm a big uh, procrastinator. Uh, so I finished the book, and uh, I'm waiting for my uh, ISBN numbers right now. It's called Regulators. So you won't find it on Amazon yet because I haven't put it there, and uh, it, it's coming probably uh, in a couple of weeks, uh, as soon as I receive those numbers. I also started on the second book. Now, I did put them on uh, Substack. You can find them on Substack. I'll put the link down below. Uh, if you subscribe, you will be able to read the whole book and also start on the, on the second book. I'm on chapter, uh, I think I'm on chapter nine. So if you're interested, you know, uh, I'll, I'll talk about it later. I'll, I'll tell you guys when it's on on uh, Amazon. But if you're in a in a hurry to to read it, if you're impatient, uh, go to Substack and you can subscribe for like I think it's five dollars, and that gives you access to to the whole book and the second book. And you know, if I write more, I don't know, but uh, it's a possibility. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun writing those stories, so uh, I want to share that with you guys. And if you want to help the channel and get something uh, in exchange, uh, that's a good way to do it. And that's about it. Uh, really, again, uh, thank you for all the people who stayed on uh, Patreon.com uh, and helped the channels, people who sent me uh, little tips on uh, the, uh, the coffee uh, link, uh, donation link down below. Again, that really helps. And I'm going to, to well, I, I'm not going to say I'm going to be back because I never left. <laughs> but I will be publishing uh, more videos. I just finished one. Well, I'm, I haven't finished. I still have to finish the editing, but uh, one on uh, Meshcore, uh, another Mesh network. And uh, of course, I have those uh, Retevis radios to review. I'm also, uh, I'm kind of thinking of making an antenna for to, to test 160 meters. Now, that's a very long antenna, but, you know, before I didn't use 80 meters, and that's a 40 meter long, 132 feet uh, antenna. And, you know, I thought it was going to be uh, unmanageable, and uh, it turned out that uh, it wasn't, and it was pretty easy. Uh, in the field, of course, I don't have the space here. I'm living in an apartment, so... But uh, it turned out that... Uh, it was easily manageable, and I'm thinking that, you know, maybe 160 meters would be uh, easy too, but I, ha I have some doubts. Would it be useful also to have some doubts as well, because it's a very narrow band, but uh, I think I'm going to make a dipole, an inverted V, on 160 meters, and we'll see how it works. All right, guys, uh, thanks again, and uh, I'll s talk to you all later. Have a good one.